Hi. Right now you're expecting a normal episode of Fast Lane Daily full of news, rumors of future cars, spy shots, hilarious jokes by yours truly, and a hit of pornography. Well, today you're getting none of that. Except for maybe some pornography of cars. Yeah, right now I'm on a plane flying to Los Angeles for the LA Auto Show. Coverage of that you'll see later this week, so stay tuned. But instead of having car news today, we've got a special episode for you. Two weeks ago, Fastlane Daily traveled to Germany to shoot episode 1000. That will air on December 20th. But while we were there, we decided to stop by and see our friends at the new Porsche Museum in Stuttgart. If you're a porsche file, <laughs> you like that? You'll love this. Enjoy this tour of the Porsche Museum and the 60 Years of Porsche in America exhibit with the museum historian and my good buddy, Dieter Ladenberger. Take it away. The Type 64 from the year 1939 is the beginning of our exhibition. If you look at the car, you can already find the Porsche 356 and the 911. Yeah. Despite this car comes from the year 1939. Right, but you see how it, the influence from this car in the you know, 2011 that's, Porsches. Absolutely, that, that's the whole gene pool of Porsche. Yeah, right. With a 35 horsepower engine, this car made almost 100 miles per hour. Wow, and back then that was a lot. You know, this, it, it, it was the fastest car in 39. In 1900, Ferdinand Porsche designed his first electric car and his idea was to integrate the electric wheel hub engine into the front wheels so the car didn't need transmission. But the problem was, as it still is today, the battery technology. Yeah, exactly. That's how Porsche had the idea to combine a fuel combustion engine with uh, this electric engine. And the result was the first hybrid car in the world. your personal favorite right here? Yeah, this car is just fan oh, it's fantastic. It's a Type 360, we call it the Shizitalia, and it's from the year 1947. This car is full of innovations. It's two decades ahead of its time. The engine is a flat 12 engine, supercharged with a power output of 385 horsepower at 10,000 reefs. This was the first all-wheel drive Grand Prix car. The body of the car is not made of aluminum, how we thought, it's made of magnesium. Really? And it's amazing how they managed to get magnesium in 1947. It was directly after the war. This is the first Porsche ever, the 356 number one from the year 1948. Ferry Porsche originally wanted to have a car for himself, which made fun. After the war he was a young man and uh, he wanted to have a sports car. He created something completely new. The, the engine was uh, tuned up from 24 up to 35 horsepower and Ferry Porsche took engine and gearbox and turned everything 180 degrees around. So the engine is behind the driver and the gearbox is on the rear axle. So this car has an almost perfect weight balance of 50-50. a study which is called uh, Panamericana. It's from the year 1989 and it was the birthday present for Ferry Porsche's 80th birthday. Oh. In fact, he didn't like it too much, but maybe <laughs> it's no car for an 80-year-old man. If you look at the roof, it's neoprene, like a diver's suit. It has a zipper. It has a zipper. And uh, oh, this, wow. this, this car yeah, should show how the sports car of the future could be. The 959 was the dream car of the 80s. This car had everything inside which was possible from a technological point of view. An electronically controlled all-wheel drive. The suspension was electronically controlled at 100 miles. It lowered down for 20 millimeters. Oh, wow. The engine was a B-turbo engine with a re register charger, 450 horsepower. The S version almost 500 horsepower and top speed of more than 300 kilometers per hour. The 80s, this was like the sports car. It was the maximum you could get. The wheels were made of magnesium with a tire pressure control system. The body parts were made of Kevlar. Yeah, so Porsche's never really won anything. That's true, unfortunately. Only 28,000 race victories, and here we have some of our cups. Only 28,000. Here we have the fiberglass body of a Porsche 908 from 1968. It was the first Porsche race car with a fiberglass body and an aluminum frame. 
and so he's super light. Super light. Here we are measuring the weight, and the total weight of the system was only 130 kilograms. Here we have the first Boxster ever. The very first one. This was a show car which was shown at the Detroit Auto Show in 1993. This car became really important for Porsche. It still is. It's, it still is because it opened a completely new market with younger customers and many female customers. From the first moment this car was accepted as a true Porsche because it's, the design is very close to the 550 Spider to the 356 number one. Yeah. And it's a, it's a mid-engine car with a flat six engine and it's great to drive. It's like a go-kart. Yeah, here we put a car upside down <laughs> under the seating. And this for a good reason. It's a Porsche 956 from 1982. And this was the first Porsche race car which created a ground effect. So the aerodynamics of this car created a downforce and at a speed of 321 kilometers, the pressure on the car gets higher than its weight. And then it could wow. theoretically drive under the ceiling. Nobody has tried it out, but here you can find the formula. <laughs> here we have the most extreme Porsche ever. It's most a, extreme Porsche it's ever? A, ever. It's a 909 hill climb spider from 1968. The total weight of this car, including oil, fuel, tires, is 384 kilograms. So super light. Super light, and this car has a flat eight engine with uh, nearly 300 horsepower. Acceleration from zero to 60 miles was below uh, three seconds. This car was inspired by a butchery. When the the car was finished, the chief designer said oh, it looks like a fat pig and indeed it's, it's very wide it's and a not, not, a, not a too elegant car. <laughs> and then they decided to paint it like a butcher would do. So the, car, it's, the color is pink and all these words mean part from a pig. We have the trunk, the neck, the shoulder, the brain, the stake. In October 1950, Porsche sent the first three cars to, to the US. The importer was Max Hoffman in New York. And this was the beginning of a long story of success. Still America is yeah. the most important market for us. The America Roadster is really a rare piece. Only 16 units of it were built in 1952 and 53. And most of them went to America where they used in club sport racing. They were driven by famous race drivers like Briggs Cunningham. All right, guys, there was a lot of cars there that we didn't show you. I mean, that building is huge. It basically houses the entire legacy and history of Porsche. So it's really cool to see all that. By the way, tomorrow we have a special road testament, and Wednesday starts our episodes from the LA Auto Show. All right, so make sure you stay tuned. And again, in December, that's December 20th, episode 1000. Yeah, it's going to be pretty epic. All right, are we running a promo for that? Yeah. Oh. Fascinating Daily has been around for... Geez, four years now. We're coming up on our thousandth episode. I wonder where we're shooting it. <laughs>